Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It is so rare for me to thank both you, YouTube, and Kabam in the same video. And yet that is what we have today. Because it was just yesterday, not literally, it was two days ago, but it feels like it was just yesterday, that we had our Eternity of Pain Rewards. And I actually got to teach a couple of you the strategy that is taking a break from choosing a Nexus Crystal. Now, to be clear, you can't do other things in the game when you do that. But you can choose to log out of the game knowing that as soon as you log back into the game, the Nexus screen will be the first thing that appears. But you can... If you need to ask your alliance or your, your friends or whoever for their input, you can do that before you make the selection. If there's like a 50-50 or a 33-33-33 chance for you to, uh, to do that. Now, I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking and I think we've had so many messages in the last two days that I was doing there. But if you uh, if you missed it, and we're gonna clear, actually, we don't have to do that. That's perfect. Uh, if you missed it, it's worth noting that I chose the skill class for four people. Hit monkey to, to awaken, blade to awaken, uh, black cat to awaken, and I am still, yes, hunting Shang-Chi in our six-star hunt. Well, Black Cat had only been in the basic crystal for like 24 to 48 hours. And yet, on the last quadrant of the crystal, and Crossbones appeared, and I thought, okay, getting Crossbones new would be a solid, solid choice. And then, Craven, who you all have told me benefits a great deal from being awakened, and is uh, Agent Venom's best friend, Agent Venom God. Problem, of course, is that uh, when it comes to six-star Agent Venom, I don't have him either. But I went with the person that was already at rank two, and that's Black Cat. And so this rank up is a thank you to both you, YouTube, and yes, Kabam. Thank you, Kabam and YouTube. You made this happen. And I've really enjoyed getting a chance to play with her more. I think one thing I can say without a sliver of doubt is that Hercules and his style of gameplay has gotten me better at intercepting. I'm still not great, and I don't know if I'll ever be great at it. But I'm better because I try to intercept every fight to earn a feat. So... Here we go. It, it always amazes me. Like, we can just easily now take a 6-star to rank 3, not think anything of it. But to not use Tier 4 Basic or uh, or even Tier 1 Alpha, which I get 6-stars don't use in general, it's, a, it's just it's a different world, you know? It's a different world. All right, Black Cat, let's see what we can get you up to. Let's see... Uh, Let's see where you're going with this. If you're wondering why my skill ISO is depleted, it's because my last rank four rank up is, uh, well, I'll show you or remind you right after. It's been a very busy week for the skill class on my channel. And well, quote unquote, waste some ISO to make that happen. 18,120. And just like that, Black Cat is right behind Black Panther in the rank 3 category. When I look at how many skill champs I have at rank 3, it's, it's pretty sizable. 9. And Blade and Hitmonkey are the only ones that are unawakened that are at rank 3. And then on top of that, of course, I had my first skill champ, or actually second skill champ, excuse me, to rank 4, and that was Black Widow. Deadly Origin. And she has been amazing. 
I could you can't go wrong though. The other two champions that I was really tempted to take up that I can't wait to someday were Archangel and uh, Immortal Abomination. But Black Widow, Deadly Origin won the vote by three percent. So here we are. Uh, thank you, YouTube. Thank you, Kabam. I am super pumped that this is the result of uh, the new level up event. I'll be ranking up other champions that are lesser stars off screen to save time. And I always don't think it's worth the video, but you know, if you can save your uh, rank ups for level up events, you won't regret it.